Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will learn how to upload, distribute your app on the App Store for the first time. To distribute your app on the App Store, you need to have an active Apple Developer account. If you do not have one yet, please visit the Apple Developer website and enroll in the program. Before you start, prepare screenshots showcasing your app. You need to upload at least three photos for each iOS platform you support. For example, if your application supports both iPhone and iPad, you must take screenshots for both devices to publish your app to the App Store. Additionally, you need a name, description, keywords, support URL and copyright information. Apple requires you to provide a URL containing some form of contact information for people to reach you in case they need support related with your apps. Also, you need to include your privacy policy within your app. Even if you do not collect any data, you must clear the status. Let's open Xcode first. Go to Settings and find the Accounts tab. Ensure that you have already signed in with your Apple ID associated with an active Apple Developer Program. In the Manage Certifications tab, you should see an active Apple Distribution Certificate. Then go to the Signing and Capabilities tab. Make sure you click the Automatically Manage Signing option. Select your team from the drop-down. Write a unique bundle identifier for your app. Xcode will warn you if your identifier is not unique. Your app also needs an icon. Go to the Assets file and upload a JPEG file with the correct sizes. The display name is the name that appears beneath your icon when your app downloaded onto your device. Choose a name for your app. If you leave it blank, Xcode will automatically assign the name you provide later in the App Store Connect. I strongly recommend running your app on a physical device before proceeding further. Let's continue. Go to the Product tab and click Archive. I prefer to validate my app before distribution, but you can directly click Distribute App as well. Xcode will validate your app before distribution in any case. At this step, it shows the name you choose for your app. However, the name will likely already be taken by somebody else. Therefore, I'll use a longer name for the App Store Connect. Select the primary language for your app. Then click Next. Select App Store Connect and click Distribute. Fortunately, everything checks out. If it doesn't for you, Xcode will alert you about any missing or incorrect information. You should see an uploaded to Apple status here. We are done with the Xcode now. Let's go to the App Store Connect. If this is your first time here, Click the Business tab first. You must sign some agreements here. The bank account information you provide here will be used to transfer your earnings. Fill out all necessary information carefully and sign the agreements after reading them truly. Let's return and click the Apps tab. You'll see your newly archived app on the screen. Click on it. Select the screenshots you prepared earlier.
You can direct them to sort them however you want. App Store Connect will resize your images for the 6.5 inch display, so you don't need an additional effort here. If you have added iPad as a supported destination in your project, you must provide screenshots for the iPad as well. I will copy and paste the description I prepared here. App Store Connect expects comma-separated keywords. Don't forget to save the information as you enter it. I have a two-page website containing a contact form and a privacy policy. Select the build that you just archived from Xcode. If you don't see your build yet, don't worry about it. Wait a couple of minutes and refresh the page. Specify if your app includes any encryption algorithms. My app does not include encryption, so I select none here. If your app requires a sign-in, provide the necessary information here. You have control over when your app is released to the App Store after approval. Click the App Information tab on the left-hand side. You can write a subtitle for your app. You must select at least one category. Then click Set Age Rating. You will be asked several questions, answer them truthfully. App Store Connect will set the age rating based on your answers. Click Save before moving to another tab. Go to the App Privacy tab and enter the URL that contains your app's privacy policy. Then click Get Started to answer several questions about your data collection policies, if applicable. Then click Publish. Now navigate to the Pricing and Availability tab to set the price for your app. Select the desired price. You can set different prices based on country or region. I allow Apple to align prices based on my currency. Click Next and confirm when you are finished.
You can also choose to distribute your app to specific countries or all available countries and regions. I select all countries and regions. If you want your iOS app available on Apple Silicon Max, you can enable this option here. Let's return to the version form and quickly check if we are ready. You need to write copyright information here. It may include your name and surname, or your company's name, along with the year you start claiming rights for your app. Everything looks good. Click Save and then click Add for Review. At this step, App Store Connect will warn you if any required information is missing. Let's go to the App Information tab to set up content rights, which we forgot earlier. Return to the form and click Add for Review again. This time everything checks out. Lastly, click Submit to App Review. You will see the Waiting for Review status. You can return to App Store Connect anytime to check your app status. Additionally, the App Store Connect app sends notification about the steps your app completes. Apple states that, on average, 19% of submissions are reviewed within 24 hours. However, it may take several days, so don't worry about it. If you need help during the process, contact App Store Connect help for additional information and support. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know if you have any questions.